From 2017 to 2019, floods ran rapid, causing significant destruction in Coon Valley. News 19's Declan Levy takes us to the small town just southeast of La Crosse, where Mother Nature may have halted a game they love, but couldn't dampen their spirit. Devastation, destruction, debilitation. Three words that do not describe the town of Coon Valley. Three years of floods tearing down homes, threatening lives, and taking away a pastime. But after three strikes comes another at bat. Everybody knows Coon Valley is notorious for their baseball, and I'm proud to say baseball's back in Coon Valley. It took a long, hard road, but we finally did it. On this day, baseball is being played at Coon Valley Veterans Park for the first time in over three years. And to make it to this day, it took persistence. People of Coon Valley are very resilient. The village residents pulled together, uh, you know, neighbors helping neighbors, and once we finally got going, the recovery was fairly good. It would have been pretty easy to say, nope, we're not gonna fix it. It's happened multiple years in a row. It's just not worth the money, but um, we found a way to make it happen, and it's just, we're really glad to be back, I know that. The ballpark washed away numerous times, but no thought of moving the field because the community wanted to preserve its rich history. Everyone knows about the ballpark. Everyone knows about the tradition down here. There's been a few graduates that have seen uh, Major League play. Everyone from, you know, the restaurant owners to the baseball association, they, uh, they all help chip in in their own way, and they, they're helping bring baseball back to this community. It's safe to say a flood will come back. No one knows when, but they do know the field will hold its ground. We've rebuilt in the entire park up higher to handle any water that comes up. When it recedes, it'll go down better than just sitting out in the outfield pooling, you know, like a lake. In a small town with a big league spirit, Declan Levy, WXOW News 19.